task four of Stronger is all about adding a bit of resistance to our pelvic floor. So we're going to work those muscles to make them even stronger so they can cope with even more. So it might just be body weight, we might add in some external loads, and I'm going to give you the demonstration of the exercises outlined in the book. So we're going to start with lying on our tummy, heel squeezes. So you can do this with bent knees or straight legs. I like to have my knees bent because it tips my pelvis forwards, but you can also do this with straight legs too. So in bent legs, my knees are wide. We start with squeezing our heels together. And what we're doing here is working on the next door neighbors of the pelvic floor. So we're using the whole unit of muscles, not just the floor of the pelvis, but the walls on the outside too. And then in this position, we add in your pelvic floor exercises. So whichever cue worked best for you from previous tasks, we work on that here. Our gold standard is 10 seconds, 10 times. When you can do that, we can move up into four point. So we're starting to use a bit more of gravity as our resistance. So we're up against gravity, we're in a pelvis neutral position. We squeeze our heels together and we work on our pelvic floor contractions. Again, we're aiming for a 10 second hold of our best pelvic floor with all three layers working, a full release, and 10 repetitions. And then we can take it even more up right. So a perch stool works really, really well for this. So in perch sitting, you wanna be kind of transitioning in towards a squat position. So you wanna be leaning forwards with the weight on your feet, and then in that position, with your bottom rested, pelvic floor, gather the entrances, lift through the layers, work on your 10 second hold, your release, your let go, and your 10 repetitions. When you can, you can start to engage through the pelvic floor, lean into your feet and lift and hover your bottom up off the chair, while still working on that pelvic floor lift. And then we can start to add on movement. So from your squat, we can take that into a lift and a lower. So you hold your pelvic floor contraction as you move through your body. Using your out breath to help lift you up, growing taller each time and feeling that synchronization of your pelvic floor with your movements. And then you can make it even bigger and you can start to add in weights. So again, you can do this in standing, you can do it in any of the positions we've practiced already. You know, kneeling, four point, and I'm gonna show you it in kneeling. So we're gonna sit down, we're gonna think about that pelvic floor contraction, closing through the outside layers, lifting up and in, holding that as we lift, bicep curl, release the hips, change the shape, lower the weights, let it go. Let's practice that again. So pelvic floor contract, and we lift, and then we spring up, bicep curl, release down, let it go. And if movement and weights is too much, you can just start with the weights, feeling your pelvic floor come up and on as you bicep curl, release down, let it go. And then you bring the movement back in. So it's a progressive plan for training your pelvic floor.